Good job, buddy. Seven, it is seven. Give me five. Double hands. Let's do a hard one, bro. Let's do a nice big the iPad has been introduced to the classroom really kind of sporadically. A lot of it has come from the parents wanting to incorporate it more in, in their kids' lives, really. Use yours. Many students with autism are very in tune with technology. They really like technology, so for that reason, when they see an iPad, even if we're working on communication, they still think it's fun because it is technology. What color? Green. What color? I always look when I'm going to introduce a device. One, I'm going to look at what are their fine motor skills. Do they have the ability to point and point with accuracy? Because that is a big thing. I have one student in my current classroom that spent years trying to learn how to use other dy dynamic touch devices that are out there. And within a month or two of us introducing the iPad, he was able to tell us what he wanted, tell us when he needed to go to the bathroom. And if you think about it, you know, in life, if, if you need to go to the bathroom and you're not able to tell someone, that can be very frustrating. You need help? Do you need help? Okay, this is trained. There's kind of that stigmatism out there that any communication device, you know, takes over a child's ability to communicate on their own. Um, that's so not true. I mean, there's so much research even done that shows that the use of devices enhance communication for children. I think the emotional benefits of the iPad really come down to it being used as a communication device. Um, again, you know, if you think about walking through life yourself and not being able to tell someone when you need something or want something, how frustrating that can be, is really going to improve their quality of life and, and make them just happier all around. I don't think there's really any danger in the iPad replacing the teacher in the classroom, particularly when you're talking about students with autism spectrum disorder. We, we push them really hard to interact with others, so I don't think that within the Manhattan Children's Center or any school out there that's dealing with this population is really going to let that happen.